afternoon, everyone. So this is our report. So we choose the syllabus. So which is the science subject? So it is a grade five avocado, and with a vision is the we dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to build to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, that the Department of Education continues to improvise and improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. So our mission is to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitab equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner, administrators, and staff as towards of the institution. Okay. Ensure an en enabling and supportive environment to for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. So, our core values is makadios, makatao, makakalikasan, and makabansa. So, with the course title of Earth Science, and the course description is, this course is a study of the Earth Science, the fields of study concerned with the solid Earth, its waters, and the, earth, and the air that in, envelops it. And the teacher of the subject is Chris Mark Ilawaranya, Bachelor of Elementary Education. And the time and day allotment of this subject is 45 minutes per session and just day. The course requirements of this subject is a spiral notebook designated for science, something to write with you may borrow from me, but I need it back. Textbook, you never know when you may need it. And any other materials I ask, you need to bring in throughout the year outline of course. We may go faster or slower depending on how quickly the class understand material. And we have a written portfolio, group presentation, and class attendance, assignments, quizzes and recitations. Time frame for the first reading period. The subject content is the earth science and soil and with the topic learning outcome at the end of the lesson the learners are, e are able to define and appreciate the value of earth science and also understand the types of soil and create a miniature of soil. And with the assessment of these two topics or quizzes, group presentation, assignment, the time frame for the second period, grading period with the content of ozone layer and the plate tectonics. So the, with the topic learning outcome at the end of the lesson, the learners are able to identify the types of ozone layer, define those plate tectonics, and us understand its importance. And the assessments are the written output, reporting assignments for the third grading period with the content of water cycle, weather, and the topic learning outcome is at the end of the lesson, the learners are able to appreciate the essential part of water cycle. Second is differentiate the types and kinds of what weather. And the assessment are we going to use is quizzes, project making, and assignment. And the time frame for the fourth grading period with the content uh, are atmosphere and air pollution. With the topic learning outcome is at the end of the lesson, the learners are able to define and appreciate the value of atmosphere, understand the air pollution, and the assessment that we need to use is recitation and video making. Lastly is the assignment. So that is the learning standard. And let's proceed to the assessment types. 
Most assessment will be announced chapter test. Do expect some pop quizzes. Standardized testing uh, preparation. As a part of this course, you will be asked to complete practice ACT questions every week. These questions are part of your grade. Uh, and speaking of grade, the grading scale and policy, grades are weighted as follows. Written works, 30%. Performance task 50%, quarterly assessment 20%, total of 100%. With the numerical scale and reporting grade, in a 90 to 100, 100 is A, in a 80 to 89 is B, and the 79 to 70 is C, and the 69 to 60 is D, and the 59 to 0 is A. F. It should be noted that being on time and participation in class are important and are counted as part of the points to be earned in a class. The types of assessment oh, and or the types of assessment, you will have two types of assessment. First is the assignment one and second is the assignment two. The assignment one is daily homework and questions in the science notebook. This means you can turn these assignments in late, however, a 10% reduction will occur for turning in the assignment one day late. A 50% reduction will occur for any more than a day or a one day late. Next is the assignment too. Any assignment that is a president presentation or we have work in a class more than one day. This assignment cannot be turned in a late and will go in as zero. Note if there are three missing assignments at any point during the quarter, you will be given a tutorial slip and will stay in tutorial until three of the missing assignment are turned in or the end of the quarter is reached. This means that an assignment test from first quarter cannot be turned in after the first quarter is finished. The classroom policies is important, so we have a classroom policies. Who and your parents should monitor your grades regularly by assessing a line. I will update this every Thursday afternoon. Things you need to know is you may call me Mr. Mark, and if you address me in a different manner, it will be considered disrespectful, and you will receive a teacher's detention. You can leave my room for two reasons, to go to the bathroom and to see another teacher. If you go to the bathroom, you have to be back in five minutes or less or I will assume you got lost. Along with this, only one person can leave my classroom at a time. If you need to see a teacher during my class, make sure you have a pass from that teacher. If we don't have time for you to leave, you won't leave. And the third is, if late to make class two times and you receive a teacher's detention, late again you get to spend a half hour with me. Late again you get talk to the office about them. And the tables, gas valves, and sink are off limits unless we are using them in lab. If you decide that you have to touch them outside of that, we will have detentions. The gas button in the front of the class is off limits. Everyone can hear it when it goes off and we don't need to break something that could save our lives. If you have a phone, I will see it and take it and it will be then go to the office for later retrieval. Don't have it out. And the test retakes is failing test is not an option. If you fail a test, you must do make up work of the teacher's choosing. Once you have completed this, a make up test will be granted. You have until the end of that grading period to retake your test. If you do not make up the test by top time, the test grade will not be changed. It is to your advantage to make it up as soon as possible. The optional retakes for a non-F test is if you want to retake a test and you don't not fail it, you can. You must do the makeup work and complete the retake by the end of the quarter. Don't make this a cup up. Studying for test is important and lowering of a test just because you can retake, it will not help you. Discipline plan. The discipline from problems are dealt with on a as needed basis. 
If there are problems that arise in the class, the following format will be used. First offense is verbal warning. Second offense is teacher's detention. The third offense is office or the office referral. And the fourth one or the off fourth offense is sent directly to the office. In your absences is if you are absent, you are responsible for getting your makeup work. Daily questions will be printed out and placed in the daily question folder in the front. Any other work will be provided in the makeup folder in the front of the room. Notes should be copied from a classmate. And my contact information, if you want to contact me, my email is grismarkarena at gmail with a contact number is 9123927720. Again, 9123927720. And this labus is a tentative outline of this course and may be changed as the necessary by the instructor. I have read and understand the syllabus for Mr. Mark Aranya, science class, and signed by the student. That's our syllabus, and when we select this, we select this particular design because it is the draft that I create, which is more emphasis on the concept and ideas, and also one of the most widely used methods for organizing educational experiences and becomes the basis around which learning experiences are organized and the mastery of subject matter becomes the basis for the attainment of educational objectives and corresponds mostly to the textbook written for the specific subject and bring up information and an assessment within a very specific time frame. Subject-centered design is the best method and strategies in order for the student to have a mastery of content knowledge. The teacher presents content and skills to students in a logical sequence. This step-by-step -step approach ensures that students gain all information and skills needed to master this content area. The particular curriculum design subject-centered curriculum designs revolves around a particular subject matter. This model of curriculum design tends to focus on the subject rather than the student. It is the most common model of standardized curriculum that can be found in the K-12 public schools. A syllabus is a list of subjects that will be taught in a class or training program. It is informative. A syllabus is usually created by an exam board or by the professional who oversees or monitors the quality of the course. It may be printed or assessed online. Both the syllabus and the curriculum are frequently combined and distributed to each student at the first or at the first session or class so that the goals and methods for achieving them are apparent. A syllabus often provides particular information about the course, such as contact information for the lecturer and teaching assistants, as well as a description of that or of what will be taught in the class or in a course, a calendar of exam, dates and assessments, due dates, the course grading policy, special classroom rules, and so on and so forth. Syllabus are used in many courses that end in exam to guarantee and uniformity between schools and that all teachers are aware of what must be taught and what is not. Exam can only assess knowledge based on the content of the curriculum. In addition, according to researcher, it serves three purposes. First is as a course record. Second, as a contract between the instructor and the student. Lastly, as a learning aid. According to Parkis and Harris 2002. That's why I select this curriculum design for clear information and also this is belong to a written curriculum. Is what is properly written down and documented for use in the classroom. These items may include instructional manuals, videos, texts, and other things that an educator requires. These resources are provided by the school district or the school itself. And co concept information, skills, attitudes, and action are all included in the written curriculum. Students have the chance to learn information that is both current and global in nature. Improve cuts conceptual thinking allowing students to establish connection throughout their student and attach here the reference of this study or explanation so once again this is our report which is the syllabus and again i am chris mark ilawaria the representative of our group and once again good afternoon and magandang Jensen and Magandang RMMC, blessed be God forever.